So to create a shirt for your character, click on your character and click on new cloth with cloth type set to top. Fear not. I am with you. Now position the points, the neck, the chin, the nipple, the shoulders, the elbow, the wrist, and click on generate top rig. So now it's going to generate the top rig and you can now position the circles set how wide you want the neck area to be, how big you want the sleeve to be. Let's rotate this shoulder circle. And how long you want the sleeve to be. So I want it to be this long. You just place it like that. And how long you want the shirt to be. So I want it about this long. Okay, that's fine. And then click on generate top. So it has made a nice top for us. So what you want to do is now sculpt it until it's um, perfectly okay. So you can see here, this area, just need to adjust it a little and pull this out a little. The back area, I'm just going to tap inflation. And I think the top is okay. So what we're going to do now is turn this into a shirt. So we have presets here, divine presets and turn to shirt. You can set whether you want it with a color and whether you want it open. So we want it closed and with a color. So you can click on turn to shirt. So if you have sound enabled, you hear a message talking about the color. So the color is currently disabled. So it's here, but it won't behave perfectly like a color. So you can see here, it's actually kind of okay, but with some simulations, it might not appear nice when it's um, simulated so you can see here it's going through the body etc that's because the color is not activated so you can activate it later on under the divine the design section click on activate color but it's disabled for now because it makes the simulation slow so you want to just perfect the shirt first so we already have our shirt it looks nice we can press play and bake the shirt if we want um, after installing the divine accessories we can pull open a new tab Click on um, Asset Browser and you can click on Buttons and we can now add buttons to our shirt. So you can just pull any of these buttons, drop it on and then under Design, click on Divine Accessory. You'll hear a sound and now you can press Shift D and duplicate the button and just move it about, move them about like that. I think that's enough buttons for this shirt. So when you press Play, the buttons are not currently bound to the shirt. So we'll go back to the first frame, click on one and then click on bind. And you can see that button is now bound to the shirt. You can click on two at the same time and click on bind selected and that will bind the selected objects. Or you can click on nothing and click on bind all and that will bind all the divine objects accordingly. So as they should be bound, they will be bound. So. We have buttons here. You can also come to pockets and we can add this pocket here and click on divine accessory. And when you do that, it will snap it onto the top. So we can move it outward a little, rotate it like so. And then click on bind. So that will bind that thing too. We have many more pockets over here, by the way. But um, yeah, you can now press play. And because it's currently calculating every frame and calculating the cloth simulation, I'm going to bake the shirt. So let's just check the quality steps. It's set to 10. I'm going to increase this to 20. And then under this design section, you can click on bake. That's 1 to 100. Or under the cloth settings, you can click on bake over here. So if you click on this one, you hear a sound when it's done, if you have divine sound enabled. So it is done baking. And when you press play, you can see this is our shirt simulation. And it looks pretty neat. It looks pretty neat. Um, so now that we're done with the shirt simulation, we can activate the color. So select the color, click on activate color, and you can come over to the soft body settings here. You can see the cache, you can now click on bake, or you can just press play to make sure it plays nicely. So I'm just gonna press play. And you can see it's much slower because it's calculating the color with every frame. I think it's looking like it's gonna be promising. So I'm just gonna click on bake over here. So I can see the color has been baked successfully. 
and it's no longer going into the body and it's a solid looking color so yeah that's basically it that's a shirt using divine cut <laughs>